We frequently hear about paper straws being mentioned as an environmentally friendly solution. These straws have become symbolic of the fight against plastic, particularly in the effort to protect aquatic life, like turtles. You can now find paper straws in many places, such as coffee shops and fast food restaurants. But are these small biodegradable tubes really making such a big difference? Or are they just a quick fix for a much larger problem? To find an answer, let's look at the beginning of the paper straw movement. A few years ago, plastic straws were everywhere. Whether you were drinking soda or a smoothie, plastic straws were essential. However, things changed quickly in 2018, when more people began discussing the environmental damage caused by plastic. Big companies like Starbucks and McDonald's announced plans to phase out these straws. For instance, Starbucks pledged to stop using them in all its stores by 2020. Public concern over ocean pollution, particularly its effects on species like turtles was a driving force behind this shift. According to the Sea Conservancy, about 8 million tons of plastic waste entered the ocean annually by 2017. Plastic straws were among the most commonly found items during beach cleanups. A pivotal moment came on August 11, 2015, when marine biologist Christine Figener uploaded a video showing a sea turtle with a plastic straw painfully lodged in its nose. The video went viral, raising awareness about the dangers of plastic pollution in the oceans and sparking a global movement to switch to paper straws. By 2020, the market for plant-based straws was worth about $500 million, and demand was growing rapidly. Aardvark Straws, one of the main manufacturers of recyclable straws in the US, saw a 300% increase in market demand. The main issue with plastic straws is their inability to decompose easily. The National Park Service reported that Americans used over 400 million plastic straws daily. These straws can take up to 200 years to decompose, often breaking down into microplastics that end up in the ocean. A 2015 study published in Science revealed that 8 million metric tons of plastic entered the ocean each year, causing significant harm to wildlife and ecosystems. But are paper straws truly the best alternative? Well, keep watching. We'll explore this in the next part of the video. For sea turtles, eating plastic is especially dangerous, according to a 2022 study by the World Wildlife Fund, or WWF. More than half of all sea turtles have ingested some form of plastic, which can cause severe health issues. Plastic can block their digestive systems, making it difficult for them to eat or survive. Paper straws seem like the perfect solution. They break down much faster than plastic and are made from renewable materials like wood pulp. A 2021 study published in Environmental Science and Technology showed that paper straws decompose faster than plastic ones. However, paper straws require more energy to produce and cause more pollution during production compared to plastic straws. This process includes cutting down trees to make the paper, with about 17 trees required to produce one ton of paper. Then there's the transportation of materials to factories and the more complex manufacturing process. This this means companies use more resources and energy to produce paper straws than plastic ones. Another issue is durability. Paper straws tend to become soggy or fall apart when left in liquid for too long, especially in cold drinks. This has led some businesses to return to plastic straws or offer paper ones only upon request. One significant issue with paper straws is their cost. They are much more expensive to produce than plastic straws, costing up to 10 times more on average. This can be challenging for small businesses that rely heavily on straws. For instance, a small coffee shop serving hundreds of drinks daily would face increased costs by switching to paper. Even larger companies like McDonald's have found the switch costly. When McDonald's began using paper straws in the UK and Ireland in 2019, they had to adjust their budgets to accommodate the higher expenses. In 2020, a report from The Guardian revealed that McDonald's had to invest in training staff to handle consumer complaints about the durability of paper straws compared to plastic ones. As more cities ban 
plastic straws, the higher cost of paper alternatives continues to pose challenges for businesses. A 2021 study by the National Restaurant Association found that 50% of restaurant owners were concerned about the rising cost of eco-friendly options. While many people want to choose environmentally friendly alternatives, the added expense can make it difficult for businesses, especially smaller ones, to make the switch. There have been some success stories regarding plastic straw bans. In Seattle, for example, the city's ban on plastic straws helped prevent around 9 million straws from ending up in landfills each year, a significant environmental win. However, not all cities had an easy time with this transition. San Francisco had also banned plastic straws in 2019, but many businesses reported that the paper straws didn't hold up well and were too weak. Some customers even started bringing their own reusable straws instead. As a result, San Francisco had to make some exceptions to its plastic straw ban. One often overlooked factor in the paper straw conversation is consumer behavior. While switching to paper straws is a positive step, it's only a small part of the solution to the problem of plastic waste. According to a 2019 study by the Pew Charitable Trust. Plastic straws make up only about 0.025% of the plastic in the ocean. To truly reduce plastic waste, we need to reduce our use of single-use plastics in general. In the UK, a campaign called Reuse the Straw launched in 2018 to encourage people to stop using straws unless absolutely necessary. A 2020 survey found that 57% of participants significantly reduced their straw use after joining the campaign. While paper straws help reduce some plastic waste, they do not address the broader issues threatening marine life. Turtles and other animals face numerous dangers beyond straws. Plastic bags, fishing gear, and other debris are commonly found in the ocean. A 2020 Greenpeace report noted that old fishing nets, known as ghost nets, make up almost half of the plastic in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a massive area of floating plastic waste. These nets pose serious risks to sea turtles as they can become entangled and drown or suffer injuries. WWF estimates that hundreds of thousands of sea turtles are caught in these nets every year. Plastic bags are another threat as turtles often mistake them for jellyfish, which they eat. Consuming plastic can make turtles sick. Plastic pollution impacts numerous marine species and ecosystems. To protect sea turtles and other wildlife, we must go beyond simply switching to paper for straws. We need to reduce all types of single-use plastics, improve waste management practices, and raise awareness about the importance of protecting our oceans. While paper straws have gained popularity, other materials are being explored as potentially better alternatives. In 2023, a company called Lolyware developed straws made from seaweed. These straws can break down in just 30 days, much faster than paper straws. Additionally, they are stronger, making them a more durable and eco-friendly option. A 2022 report by Grandview Research projected that the market for reusable straws would grow by 9.5% annually from 2021 to 2028, indicating a growing demand for long-lasting sustainable solutions.